Get in, bestie. We're going to go defeat Boring Nails. What's up, everyone? My name is Kay, and today I'll be painting my nails with Mooncat's Dragon Scales and Super Villain. If you are new here, welcome. I am here with the bottle service, but nail polish style. So if you enjoy nail polish, swatch, and reviews, then stick around because it just so happens that I enjoy filming them. Let's get serial. If you don't know Mooncat, they are an independent nail polish brand, meaning you will not find them in store. So don't go looking for them at Target or Walmart. Just go to their website. Mooncat is made in the USA and they are 10 free, referring to 10 of the potentially harmful ingredients. They are also vegan and cruelty free. Now at the time of filming, 10% of their net proceeds benefit Coneco to help cats find forever homes. Yes, cats in homes. All right, it's time. The battle against boring nails is upon us. Now, here's what super villain looks like in the bottle. And heads up, I will also be showing you what it looks like with the sponge on method. Now, let's get to know super villain. She is going to unleash her wrath on my bare nails. Application here feels very smooth. It is a bit of a thicker formula because it is packed with flakies, but it's very easy to apply. And here we have first coat coverage, which we will be building up. Now, Super Villain is not backing down. She is using her special attacks on my nails. And with this second coat, you can now start to see what Super Villain is really made of. The polish is really starting to come to life now. And this is what second coat coverage ended up looking like. And here is the third and final coat. Now, Mooncat describes Supervillain as a multi-chrome flaky lacquer filled with holographic glitter that shifts between shades of blue and purple. And with this third and final coat, I absolutely agree with them. Keep in mind that in person, it's a bit of a more tealish blue. Now, the shift between blue and purple is there. It's very obvious. And the hollows are noticeable, but not in your face. It's kind of like a hollow kiss. That makes this polish a little bit more special. Moving on to the sponge on method. I love this method because it's so convenient so long as you have the time to either add the latex barrier to the skin around your nails or for the cleanup. Now, I guess it's a bit of a trade-off, but that's all it took to get full coverage. Flaky nail polish was definitely born to be sponged on, in my opinion. And she is shifty. She is catching all of the light and throwing it right back at us in a beautiful display of color. Moving on to dragon scales. This is what it looks like in the bottle. And I'll also be showing you what it looks like applied with a sponge on method at the end. And on the battlefield, that is my right hand, we have dragon scales. Now, the formula here feels the same as super villain, which would make sense. I can't really notice a difference in how application feels, but this is what one coat of dragon scales ended up looking like, and we'll also be building this up. And we are slowly winning this battle with a second coat. We can really start to see the beauty of dragon scales. The flakies are starting to come to life. The color is becoming richer, deeper, shiftier as the second coat is applied. And this is what a second coat of Dragon Scales ended up looking like. And here is the third and final coat. Now, Mooncat describes Dragon Scales as a multi-chrome flaky lacquer filled with holographic glitter that shifts between shades of magenta and lime green. Now, my camera isn't doing the best job at picking up the magenta color, but just know that it's certainly the main color and it is so pretty. If you like pink, pink polishes, I think you'll definitely enjoy Dragon Scales. And this is what a third and final coat ended up looking like. Now moving on to see how Dragon Scales applies with the sponge on method. I have high expectations here and I'm just gently rolling the sponge sideways on my nail to make sure I cover my entire nail plate. 
but of course this did not disappoint once again we have achieved full coverage with just one sponge style application now for removal i would recommend the soak off method since we are dealing with some texture here and you don't want to rub this off and possibly cause damage to your nail plate both of these polishes catch the light beautifully. I mean, the shift is just... I went to the grocery store and the cashier spots dragon scales on my nails. She proceeds to grab my hand like it's the last Stanley Cup on sale and she starts to manipulate my hand so that the nail polish would catch the light. Meanwhile, I am just standing there like... You are very nice, but this is really awkward. She was sweet though, she acknowledged that there was an entire human attached to the nails. So in other words, yeah, if that doesn't tell you how shifty and how beautiful and how eye-catching these polishes are, then... And we have reached the end of this review, but let's catch up in the comments section. Do you own Super Villain? Do you own Dragon Scales? What are your thoughts on these two nail polishes? Tell me in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Now, if you like this video as much as I platonically like you, then go paint the like buttons, nails, and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.